So, five questions on some, some substitution from the algebra uh, topic. So, go ahead and pause them and then um, check your answers afterwards. Question one. So, we're asked to evaluate this expression 2a plus b, and we've got values for a and b here. So, fairly straightforward, we've got to do 2 dots of value 3 plus 5, which is obviously going to be 6 plus 5, which is 11. Similar kind of process down here, except we've got 2 multiplied by a multiplied by b. So, if we write this out, we've got 2 times 3 times 5, which you can do in any order. So, it's a fairly straightforward multiplication. 2 times 3 is 6 times 5 is 30. Easy enough. Coming to question 2, we've now got this expression, 3 brackets 2n minus 2, uh, and we're told this time that n is equal to 8. So let's evaluate it. We've got 3 multiplied by 2 lots of 8, and then we've got to take away 2. So if we break it down step by step, we've got 3 lots of 2 lots of 8 is 16 minus 2, which we could say is 3 lots of 14, we're doing 16 minus 2, and we know that is 42. Okay, it's fairly straightforward so far. For the next question, 3 and 4, again, you might want to pause it and have a go at them on a scrap of paper, and then come back to this when you're done. So, we've got to be a little bit careful here, because for x is a negative number. So let's try and evaluate t. So if we write out in long, which if you're confident doing in your head, which is absolutely fine, I just want to make sure for the purpose of this revision that you're confident. So 3 lots of minus 5, which is x, and 4 lots of 3, which is y. And then we work out each bit individually. Remember, 3 times minus 5 is minus 15, plus 12. Again, we're just going to pay attention. We're on minus 15. We're going to 12 steps towards 0, which leads us on minus 3. Um, and we've got two parts. We've got one expression here for A, and we've got to evaluate it for two different values of B. So let's start here. So we've got to write the whole thing out. A is equal to 3 lots of 2B, which is 2 times minus 2. Then you take away 4. So again, let's break it down to steps. 3 lots of, well, 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. Take away the other 4 is really 3 times minus 8, which is minus 24. So I'll answer for part I. Let's do the same thing again, but for this time, we want to evaluate it for when b is minus 5, so let's write it out in steps, 3 brackets, 2 lots of minus 5, take away 4, which is this time, 2 times minus 5 is minus 10, take away 4, so really we're doing 3 lots of minus 14, which again we can just do in our heads, well 3 times 14 is 42, so 3 times minus 14 is Minus 42. One final question is set on substitution. So we've got an expression p equals q squared minus 2q. I want to evaluate p when q is minus 3. Again, we've got negatives. So pause the video, see how you do, and then come back and watch it. So p is equal to... Now, we've got to be very careful with this because we've got a minus 3. So I'm going to put it into brackets, We're squaring a negative number. And here we've got to be especially careful because we've got minus 2 times q, but q is a negative number. So dealing with each bit in turn, q squared or minus 3 squared is minus 3 times minus 3, which is plus 9. And minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6. So we get the expression for p, p is 9 plus 6, which is 15. Okay, and here ends our short little lesson on um, algebra substitution. Uh, if you're not sure, go back and watch it again, or um, find some other questions from another video. Try those.